Hey guys, in this video we're going to teach you how to create a responsive pop-up model just like this one. Hey guys, before we start, I want to mention that I'm using the Winter is Coming theme. That's the one that you see right now. It looks pretty cool. So if you want to check it out, go ahead. It's absolutely free. All right, let's get started. The first thing we want to do is create a button that is going to allow us to show the model. So let's give this an ID name of show model button or BTN for short. And now we're going to create the model, but first we're going to create the piece that goes around the model, which is the overlay or the black piece. All right. Within it, we're going to create the model. And within the model, we're going to create a button that is going to allow us to close the model. So we're going to give this an ID name of close model button. All right. And that's pretty much all you need to create a model. Now we are going to add another section down here to mimic an actual website. So let's create a container with a class name of website content. And this is where your actual code would go like your header, your homepage, your about page, and the rest of your code for your website. Just make sure that the code for the model is always on the top of this code. Otherwise there's a chance that it might interfere if you put it like in the center or in the bottom of this code. So just keep this right on the top. As far as this uh, button goes, this one doesn't really matter because this button is probably going to be within this code. That way you can open up the model. Um, but if you want to have it set up to where the model shows up on its own, like when you first visit the website within five seconds, for example, then I'm going to make a video showing you how to do that. For this model, we're going to click it in order for you to be able to see it. All right, let's move on to the CSS. And the first thing we're going to do is create the overlay or the black piece that goes over the model. All right, so we don't want to be able to see this as soon as we run the website. So we're going to use display none, but let's comment that for now so we can see it as we build it. All right, we're going to use position fixed that way when we scroll down or up the page the model is always in front of us and to place it in the center of the screen we're going to use top zero bottom zero left zero and right zero we're also going to use z index one this is going to make sure that the model is on top of everything else that we have on the website for instance you could already see it here see the model even though it doesn't have a color, you can't see it yet, but it's already on top of the contents that are in the website. Like for instance, the button and let's change the color now to black. You can go with any color that you want. Just make sure that it's not a solid color. If you go with black, make sure that it's an RGBA black. Otherwise you won't be able to see the contents that are in the back. All right, now let's create the model. So we're going to give it a width and height. I'm going to go with a max width of 600 pixels and a height of 300. Go ahead and change those to your liking. And we also got to use margin auto. Now let's change the background color so we can see the model. I'm going to go with white and now we want to place this model in the center of the overlay or the center of the screen. All right, to do this, we're going to use position absolute. And to place it in the center, all we have to do is set top, bottom, left and right to zero, just like we did in the overlay. So we're just going to copy that and we're going to paste it here. All right. And the model is now in the center of the screen. And one final thing we're going to do is get access to the, what did we call it? Oh, website content. We're going to get access to website content to mimic an actual website. And all we're going to do is give it a height of 1000 VH to pretend like this is an actual website where we're scrolling down. 
And as you can see, the model doesn't matter if we scroll down or up, it always stays right in front of us, which is what we want. All right, let's uncomment this here. And let's move on to the JavaScript. So as soon as we click this button, we want to be able to see the overlay and the model. So let's get access to the overlay. We're going to start in this variable and we're going to do document query selector overlay. All right, now let's get access to that button. So we're going to do document query selector and we give this an ID name of show model BTN. Let's expand this and we're going to add an event listener. And this is going to be a click event. Let's add a function here. So currently we can't see the overlay because we set a display of none. But as soon as we click on this button, we want to change that. So we're going to use that variable overlay. We're going to use style. And I don't know why it did that. And we're going to do display equals block. All right, let's test this out. So now when we click this, we can see the model and we're going to do the same thing for this button here, except for when we click this, of course, we're going to set this back to display none. So we can copy this and instead of show here, we're going to type in close and this is going to be none. All right. So now when we click this, it's going to display it. When we click this, it's going to close it and this is responsive, so you don't have to worry about that either. That is already taken care of for you. And let's say that you wanted to add something to this model. I kept it very simple here just to show you how to do this. But all you have to do is go inside the model and add whatever you want to add in here. For example, I'm just going to add a hello. And now when I click this, you're able to see hello. But you can add more things in here, like you can add another container and then you could use like a display flex in here if you want to add you know different things whatever you want to do in here you can do that's going to be completely up to you so i'm just going to leave it like that i'm not even going to try to add any design to it but yes you can add a bunch of different things in here and change the width and height and do whatever you want but this is how you create it please make sure you hit the like button if this helps you and i'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching